So you've just started to generate some leads and you're wondering how long does it typically take for leads to convert into appointments and then clients? Well, the short answer is it depends. And I know that's not the answer you probably want to hear. So in this video, what I wanna do is go through what are some of the reasons why a lead will convert quicker into a client and what are some of the reasons why it could take longer and what can you do to reduce the amount of time it takes for your leads to convert into the next step in your sales process, which in your case is most likely going to be getting an appointment booked with you or converting into a client after they book that appointment. So whenever you're generating leads, there are two stages to lead generation. The first stage is to actually get someone's interest by getting them to enter their name and email to learn more about a problem that you can solve for them. And this is the first step in lead generation. This is the first step that someone uh, would take to become a lead. So for example, you have recorded some sort of uh, free content like a video or something like that, that goes through how you can solve a problem that your potential clients have. And then in order for them to access or watch that video, they enter their name and email. As soon as they've entered their name and email, you've now generated a lead. But a lead is not the same thing as an appointment or a client. But the first stage or the first step to getting an appointment or a client is to generate that lead. So in order for you to generate a lead in the first place, you need to make sure that you have a really compelling offer or a really good message that talks about a really big painful problem that you can solve for your clients. And the better that you communicate this problem to your potential clients, the better the chances are that you will generate leads and you'll be able to generate more leads at a much lower cost. However, once you've got someone to enter their name and email, like I said, that isn't an appointment, that isn't a client. So what do you do to take that lead into the next step in your sales process? Well, here is where it depends on the lead and at what stage they are in the buying process. Now, you will get some leads that are ready to take action right away and they're looking to actually work with someone right now. And with those leads, if they watch a video or consume some free content and they like what they hear in the video, it's always a good idea to say to them, if you want to learn more, about how we can potentially help you, the next step is to just schedule a call. And then on this call, we can go through and see how we can specifically help you and see if we would be a good fit to work together. And you always get a certain percentage of your leads that will take action straight away because they're looking for a solution right now. Now, the rest of the leads, which is actually the majority, those leads might not be ready to actually take action right now, but it doesn't mean they're not necessarily interested in what it is that you do. And that's why it's so important to follow up with your leads. And when I say follow up, I don't mean just following up with them, sending them emails or phone calls or text messages, just saying the same thing over and over again. Hey, when would you like to schedule a call? Hey, I saw you checked out this video or whatever it was. Uh, when would be a good time to talk about how we can potentially help you even more or any other messages like that. When I'm talking about following up, I'm talking about providing real value and helpful content to the leads that you've generated. And over time, by doing this, by sending them helpful content that solves more problems that they have that are related to that big problem that you said you could originally solve for them, the more emails you send them with more helpful, relevant content, the more they will trust you, the more they will like you. And then eventually, when the time is right for them, they will buy from you as well. Now, the big question is, how long does this whole process take? Well, typically what I found is that from every 100 leads, as a minimum, the very minimum, you really want to be getting four appointments and one client from 100 leads within a 90 day period. So these are the short term results. And then in the long term results, you want to be getting more appointments and more clients over time from the rest of the leads that haven't converted yet. So in the short term, you should be getting at least four appointments and one client from every 100 leads. And then in the long term, you should be getting more of those leads converting into appointments and clients as they keep getting your follow up emails and more helpful, relevant content that provides value to them and builds up trust with them so they can learn more about what it is that you do and how you can help them. So when it comes to converting leads into appointments, just remember those two stages. The first stage is you need to generate leads in the first place by solving a big painful problem that they have. And the second stage is you need to nurture those leads to actually book an appointment with you. And that nurturing stage is what depends 
on how long it's going to take. Some leads will need a lot of nurturing and other leads won't need a lot of nurturing. So some leads will book an appointment with you straight away and other leads will book an appointment with you maybe in months, sometimes even years down the line. But the important thing is that you need to be there. You need to be the one providing value and helping them until they are ready to work with you. And the good thing about this strategy is that a lot of people that do lead generation don't do this. So if you do this, this really puts you at a huge advantage because most people, what they do when they generate leads, they generate a few leads, they get some people to enter their name and email. They maybe follow up with them for a month or two. And even then when they follow up with them, it's not really any good kind of following up. Um, you know, they're just trying to spam them and trying to get them to book a call straight away without really providing any value. And that's what the majority of the people are doing. And then they don't do anything else. They think, oh, you know, the leads that I generated are basically uh, pointless. You know, the leads are a waste of money or a waste of time or whatever it might be. But the thing is, they haven't actually nurtured those leads long enough to really get the most amount of conversion for them. And since I've been doing this for many years now, even today, I still get leads that suddenly convert or book a call with me out of nowhere. And then when I look in my CRM and see how long those leads have been on my email list, a lot of the time they've been on my email list for sometimes years. Sometimes it's months, sometimes it's weeks, but a lot of the time it's years. And that's because it took them years for them to decide to book a call because maybe in the past it wasn't the right time for them or maybe they just didn't trust you enough yet. There could be a whole host of reasons. But the point is, if I hadn't been the one following up with them, they would have gone elsewhere. But because I kept on following up with them, staying top of mind and providing them with helpful, relevant content, they then decided to work with me rather than any other company that does similar things out there because of the trust that was built over time. So in your business, if you are generating leads, make sure you have a strong follow-up process that provides value to your leads so that they can convert. And by doing that, you'll be doing what the majority of other people who are generating leads are not doing. And that's going to give you a huge advantage to get a lot more conversions. Most people are just trying to get conversions in the short term, and that's great. And you can definitely do that by generating leads. You can definitely get conversions in the short term but don't take for granted the long-term conversions as well. Because in reality, if you look at the results that you get over a long period of time, like not just a few months, but over a period of years, you'll see that the majority of your results will come from the long-term results. And that's pretty much the same in any business, no matter what it is that you're doing. The best results always come from the long-term. So you can still get short-term results, but just remember the best results will come from the long-term results. And that's what you also need to make sure that you focus on in your business. Now, if you're wondering what kind of follow-up emails do you use or what do you say and how do you structure a funnel to generate leads in the first place and how do you generate appointments and how do you do all this stuff that I've just gone through in this video, then just check out the video that I've recorded that goes through how this whole process works step-by-step by going to salesappointmentsmasterclass.com. You can watch the video, it goes through how it all works. And in that video, it goes into more detail as to what steps you need to take in order to generate high quality leads and high quality appointments predictably every single month. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.